Hello, Libra. This is your love reading. Libra in love, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right. Libra, look at you. Beautiful Aquarius energy in the recent past. You're healing. You're studying a situation. You're making choices for the future. When pigs fly, now why is it that people are viewing you as when pigs fly? Well, maybe somebody, it looks as though you left somebody behind that you feel betrayed you, that just a situation did not work out. You're not going back to this person is what this says to me. We see this beautiful nine of coins energy and it shows that, you know, you feel really good about yourself. You feel good about your life. You feel balanced. You feel happy. You know, you, you feel very, you feel a lot of gratitude in your life right now. You're holding back also, you know, we have this Capricorn energy. We have Pisces. We have Gemini. We have Aries. We have Gemini. Virgo and um, Aquarius again, Aquarius and fire. You want a brand new beginning. You have fire in your belly. You want to close out an old cycle. You are beginning something new. This is a successful new beginning after a very successful ending or closure of some sort. Spirit was, you know, the message from Spirit is to tell you to be calm, cool, collected. You know, stay calm, carry on, deal with the facts, hold back a little bit is what you're doing currently. So let's see what's going on in the love lives of Libra. Libra, so how do you feel about love or your love interests for whom you came to this reading for? You feel as though they've left you alone and that came as a big shock. It looks as though right now there's not any contact. You're trying to research on the internet. I feel like your person's watching you. You're watching them. We get the Ten of Coins here and the King of Cups. You thought your future was with this person. You thought that the two of you might marry, might settle into a beautiful relationship of stability. This is very much Virgo energy, like you're willing to do the work. The King of Cups energy says that you view your person as a person who loved very deeply, someone that didn't really speak to their emotions a lot or didn't, they weren't very effusive with their words. They weren't overly flowery. They were there for you. It looks as though your lives were very good together. Sometimes this is a, a sudden bit of information. I think some of you may have discovered something that you didn't know about. You have gone in, inward to heal and to uh, search for answers. When pigs fly, why is when pigs fly here? Ah, uh, when pigs fly, you will settle for someone who does not have equal give and take in a relationship. This is a page of cups. Normally the page of cups is a very favorable page, but it shows that you were naive. You feel as though you loved somebody who was incapable when pigs fly. There's a little pig with wings. We know that pigs don't have wings, that this person wasn't grounded and you innocently walked into the situation, not really seeing the truth for what it was. But with the Ten of Swords, they gave you what would be considered a pretty rude awakening. It would have felt like a betrayal. It would have felt like they walked away from you very unexpectedly. Why is the Ten of Swords here? What does it represent in this reading? Oh, a lot of cards. This person walked away after having an investment. The Nine of Wands, they still have fire in their belly. Wow! They know that they were acting irresponsibly. And look at this, my gosh, this one and this one are duplicating. So in terms of your person, you feel very much that they were in it to win it. They invested, they had fire in their belly right up until they flaked out. This is your viewpoint of them, that right up until they flaked out, 
they you they convinced you that they were really going to give something to the relationship and that caused you to feel that it was you know a betrayal of a promise nine of coins why are why is a nine of coins here for how you view your life right now successful moving forward very rapidly beautiful it looks like you're doing well financially after having had a bit of a struggle it looks as though some of you might have started something new with the star card it looks like you're very very good in your profession libra um but we're seeing here two cancerian energies and six of swords you want to move possibly and you certainly want someone to come towards you and offer you love. Cancer energy. Okay. So why do we have the Four of Pentacles? So why is the Four of Pentacles? Four of Wands. It looks like you might have even been saving your money for a wedding or for a celebration. But you're holding back now. You know, you know what you want. Now, if someone is not going to come in and give you a fair offer, if they're not going to be above board and, you know, and speak to you and have better communication with you, you you'll just hold back. Why is the King of Swords the advice? Well, the King of Swords is the advice from spirit to throw caution to the winds, take a chance with somebody. You know, don't just stay in this kind of cold, detached energy. Feel the passion. Leap into life. Start something new. Don't be afraid. Okay. So let's see now. You clearly have a love interest here. We have this King of Cups energy here. So let's see what this King of Cups energy is in terms of how they are viewing the situation with you, Libra. The King of Cups sees Libra as being a rock star in the recent past. Why, is it, why does Libra feel that the King of Cups has abandoned them? Page of Wands. Six of Swords. So Libra, it does show that, you know, in, the, in these cards, it shows that you have some understanding that this person did not try to deliberately hurt you. It looks as though you feel as though they had things that they had to do. They might have had a child to take care of from a marriage. If you weren't married to this person, you could have been. It's two different stories. But we get this feeling that this person had to move. They might have had to physically move. You know, and I'm getting that it could have had to do with children or it could have had to do with a new opportunity. Okay. How do you feel about this, Libra? How do you feel in your heart space? The fact that you were left alone, how do you feel about that? Nine of Pentacles. Okay, well, you understood it. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. So it does look as though you understood it. it. Although it did come out of the blue, right? Why is Page of Swords and the Tower card here? What does the King of Cups think of this Page of Swords and Tower? That would be really a big shock that somebody was going to do something. King of Wands. Ooh, now we have somebody else in the picture. Libra. <laughs> Did you replace the King of Wands with the King of Cups or the King of Cups with the King of Wands? The King of Wands here is Leo Energy and it says that they came, it looks like you were contacted on the internet, uh, the Tower card, it was very disruptive, somehow this connection has unsettled your foundation. So for some of you, you might be married and you might be struggling with a romantic attachment that you met through the internet okay so let's see what else here libra libra why is this king of wands so powerful to you that they could unsettle you five of cups you were feeling sad and lonely you were looking into the future to something better than you had had you were just ready a lover's card you were ready. You're ready for something very different, Libra. You have fire in your belly, eight of wands. You're willing to do the work. You want a lot of passion. You want someone who is going to give you what you want. You feel bored with the relationship, the king of cups relationship. 
felt like it, it this would almost be like somebody you might have dated for a long time or you might have lived with them or you might have been married to them but I think for the most part I think the majority may have lived with this person and now the fool card you have a new beginning with a king of wands nice so it does look like you have made the determination and when we look at the king of cups you know you're looking into your future you definitely want a very sound relationship why is the king of cups energy here why is the king of cups energy here and this is how the king of cups feels about it how does the king of cups feel about you going off on a different adventure the knight of cups the hermit card aha look at this they feel as though you ghosted them or you broke up with them or you didn't tell them anything so they still love you they still feel romantically towards you they feel romance they want that with you but they also feel the hermit card they feel as though possibly a libra that you might have ghosted them and into a third party situation all right libra you look like you're in the driver's seat here you look like you're sort of the master or mistress of this uh, relationship situation. Let's see what we have here. We have Ten of Pentacles. Look at this. That's really interesting. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. So it does look like for some of you, you view the situation as having been, you've been in a marriage, you're attracted to another person, when pigs fly, you feel as though that attraction can't really come to anything. There hasn't been equal give and take, but there has been an affair, a fling out of boredom, something that happened overnight on a trip, just something that may, it could be work-related. It does look like your significant other or your, you know, readings can be vice versa. Okay, what else do we have? Six of Pentacles upright. So, when it came to passion, when it came to love, when it came to emotion, Libra, the fire sign, was looks like they might have been more compatible for you than the energy of the King of Cups, although you love the King of Cups very dearly. Why is it that you feel like you have to leave something behind? Because your partner feels as though you abandoned them that's how they're seeing it that's their energy but let's see how your person the king of cups how's he feeling the king of cups is feeling this is a card that would be representative of the king of cups knight of pentacles okay so again the, i don't think you are necessarily married to the person but you were probably living with them and or they could be the parent of a child if you have children why is the why is the moving card here this big rush to move to move in with somebody ace of cups new love oh libra you have decided on new love instead of old love okay three of pentacles somebody you may have met at work and collaborated with libra libra okay so spirit is saying you know that this is a joyful journey for you to enjoy it but keep your feet on the ground the hierophant so you'll have to determine what that means for yourself spirit is saying enjoy yourself you know that marriage is a celebration this is like a new marriage though so for those of you who want a new marriage that will be available to you with a new person why is the ace of wands here twice i'm going to ask that why is the ace of wands here twice ace of swords you have great clarity king of swords again you are going to cut someone out of your life uh, to have a new opportunity you're very clear about it the king of pentacles oh wow you have a lot of people who want you libra so you have someone you either have the players on the board are the king of pentacles taurus energy we have the king of cups which is scorpio and the king of um wands which is leo energy so you can pick and choose like the buffet table who is who in this this play if you will they're interchangeable but we are getting this energy that you are throwing caution to the winds you're giving up perhaps one successful marriage to enter another one 
Um, it looks as though you are leaving one marriage behind and getting another one. I'm not seeing justice or judgment here, so I'm not seeing legal paperwork yet. But it looks as though this is a transitional process for you. Two of Pentacles. Yep, they are. When we have Two of Pentacles with the Three of Swords, it does appear, Libra, that you were juggling two people, two lovers, two, two love interests, um, and you are going to make a final decision. You're closing out this chapter of an old love for a new love. Four of Pentacles. You're trying to be very wise. You're trying to stay grounded. Three of Cups. Look at that. You want to be with your best friend. Oh my gosh. So when we get the Three of Cups with the Ace of Coins, we see an engagement. Let's see. What do we have here? Clarify, please, the World card for us. Page of Pentacles. Okay. So I do think there's children here somewhere in the mix. We see children in this card. We see some pages. Maybe one person's left home. Two of Swords, you're not going to rush into anything. You're going to make decisions as they are required to be made. The Death card, yep, one thing ends and something else is reborn. So one marriage ends, another marriage is born. Wow. All right. So you know what? Love comes in many ways. We have the Chariot card twice. So... Libra, look at let's look at what the love the whispers of love says to you. Very energetic reading. Very well thought out reading. Very very interesting. Okay. Like like attracts like. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. Okay, well, it looks as though you've done that. Like attracts like. Let's see what else we have here for the oracles. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other. I think that that's what happened here. You have a secret admirer. <laughs> you have a secret admirer. Someone has deep feelings for you more than they're letting on. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say yes or no or walk away at any time. Don't rush into it. Let nature take its course and you are trying too hard. Give it time. There you go, Libra. Sending you love from Chicago. Since I'm back, make a comment. Please like, subscribe, share. Thank you.